Hey, if the sum of your kick and 808 look like this, you've got phase issues. Here's a few ways to fix this. First way is to flip the phase or invert the polarity of the kick. Let's see how that sounds. That sounds and looks better. The second way is to slightly pitch the kick drum up or down a little bit. That looks and sounds a lot better too. Another thing you could do is shorten the kick drum. If your kick drum is too long, it's gonna clash with the sub frequencies of the 808. That sounds good, and it looks good. And the final thing you could do is, hey, just choose a better sounding kick. You want a short, punchy kick to go with the 808. Here's a kick that I think sounds way better. You're not hearing or seeing any phase issues at all. It's clean, it's punchy, the subs are hitting, perfect. It's all about sound selection. Gotta use your ears, use your eyes a little bit. Oscilloscopes really help. That's how you get a clean mix. The results of this will definitely vary depending on which kick and which 808 you use. The pitch of the 808, the pitch of the kick, all this is a factor. If one method doesn't sound good, try the other method. Just keep going until you find something that works.